Did you know that having a consistent brand kit can boost your engagement by up to 80%? Join us as we take on the challenge of creating the Foxy Hughes paint brand in Canva. Let's see if Kim can make it look amazing in under 20 minutes. And we're gonna share all of our tips and tricks along the way. What is up? Welcome back. <laughs> do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. And in this video, you'll learn how to build your brand kit in Canva so that you'll have a cohesive and professional look for all of your projects. Many creators struggle to create a consistent brand image across multiple platforms, which can confuse their audience and weaken their brand identity. <laughs> Whether you're doing a side hustle or running a small business, a cohesive brand helps you build recognition and trust with your audience. And it sets you apart visually from your competition. Creating a consistent look could be time consuming and confusing, especially if you're not a designer. But that's where Canva comes in. With its easy to use platform and templates, we can create a consistent look and feel with your brand image. Having a clear brand kit will help you save time in the long run. It'll streamline making content and your marketing materials. By the end of this video, you'll have a brand kit in Canva that you can use to create all of your marketing materials, your social media posts, your blog posts, your postcards, your brochures. You can do all of that using Canva's templates and applying your brand colors and style to your templates. You'll be able to confidently share your content knowing that it represents your voice and your style. So now let's jump into Canva and see if Kim can do this in under 20 minutes. Here we are in Canva. This is the main page of Canva. We're going to create our brand kit over here using the brand option in the left menu bar here. Notice how this option has the crown next to it, which means that this is a Canva Pro template and you will need Canva Pro to create your brand kit, but it's totally worth it. I highly recommend using Canva Pro. There's so many features that come along with the Pro version, and especially if you're gonna create all of your marketing materials using Canva, you'll definitely want that Pro version. So we're gonna click on brand, and then in here, you can see we already have the brand kit for K&G Make It. With this one, we have several logos uploaded, one with the white splash, one with the blue splash, and then, of course, our traditional logo that has all of our colors. Today, we're going to create the Foxy Hughes paint brand. So we're going to click Add New in the upper right and call it Foxy Hughes Paints. Now, this makes it so easy. We're going to start by uploading our logo. Now you can see we have several versions of our logo and I recommend that you create several versions of your logo. The traditional Foxy Hughes logo is uh, the white, white words with a black background. Uh, but we also have the inverse of that for a uh, different color. Like if we're using uh, a white background, we wouldn't want a black box there or a black square. So we would use the inverse and have the white background or a transparent background. Really, it's going to be a transparent background with the black words. And then we have the white versions as well, as you can see here. So I'm just going to grab the, well, let's grab our traditional one and load that one first. Now, if you load them one at a time, like I just did, it will automatically, Canva will automatically pull the colors from your logo. As you can see here, we have the black background, the white words, and then his uh, paint drip tail uh, actually has a gray and it pulled in the gray. So if I add another one, let's say this one down here where the paint drip has an orange tail, It will also add the colors of the orange tail. So you can choose which ones you want to keep. However, the orange and, and the gray are not on the same um, color palette. So I'm going to keep this one. And then I'm going to say keep and I can keep them both. Now, this created two different palettes here. Um, but what I really want to do is put the orange in the one palette. I just want one main palette. So I'll add a new color and then I'll just use the FF7100. And we'll just call it the same color. 
we'll keep the naming conventions the same by using its hex code. And there we go. So now I can delete this one. I don't need them both. And now I have the one color palette. So I'm going to add a couple of more logo logos up here. I'm going to add this one. This one, this one, this one. Some of these just have the fox without the word. Some have it with the word. Some are just the words. And now you can see one of them actually has an off-white color and one of them has a white color. So notice this time, because I uploaded multiples at one time, it didn't find the off-white color, which is fine. We're not really going to use that, I don't think. Um, but if I wanted to add it later, I could delete that logo, bring it in separately, and it would automatically add the color palette, and I could add a new color into the colors from Foxy Hue's white logo, black background palette. Next we're going to do is add, we're going to add our font. So Foxy Hughes is using a particular font. So I can go in here and say for title, choose font. And for this one, we're going to use adore you. As you can see, adore you is not a Canva font. So we can upload that font though. So what we're going to do is go down here to the bottom and say upload fonts. And here you can see I have, well, I have all of my fonts here in a font folder. We'll upload adore you. And I don't know if I can upload all three of them at one time. Let's see. Well, no, because I want it in the main. Oh, never mind. And you have to acknowledge that you own adore you and you have the rights to use it for its intended purpose. So, yep. Next, I'm going to upload the subtitle and I'm going to choose the font for the subtitle. And I'm going to use uh, Nunito here. And then for the heading, we're also going to upload and we're going to use Miss Eves here. All right, now we have our fonts loaded. You don't need every one of these here. Um, you probably will want a body font though. I'm gonna use that same font. There we go. So now we have our title, subtitle, heading, and then our body. And that's probably all we're really gonna use for most of the templates that we're gonna do. You can add your brand voice. So let's take a look here. So descri describe your brand's unique personality and how you communicate with your audience. Um, and we'll just keep this one here because I don't, I really don't know what else to say. Uh, but we'll keep the, our voice is confident, casual, and friendly. And I would say that's pretty accurate. Did I say friendly or funny? Casual, friendly, and funny. Let's add them both. Our photos. Let's go back out here to fonts. So we can just pick a color um, or a couple of colors or all of them, but really I just want a picture of one paint and then the picture of all of our paints. Well, we'll also pick the picture control and I'm gonna pick one color and let's go, actually, I'm gonna pick a couple colors. We'll use like our typical brand colors. So I'll use the blue, the pink, and then the photo here of all of the paint sizes. We'll include those. Any graphics? I don't think I have any graphics and I don't have any icons, but if you use graphics and icons, you can include those as well. All right. And now we have our brand logo created. So back to brand kits. Now you can see here we have the Kim and Garrett make it brand kit and now the Foxy Hughes paints brand kit. Now that we've created our brand kit, 
let's create a brand template which we can apply the brand kit to. So here we're gonna go over to our templates. You can see we have a bunch out here that we've already created. We're gonna create a new one today and we can start from any of these options. Uh, there are so many different options out here. You never have to start from a blank slate. You can create things like your flyers, your business cards, your brochures, but not just business templates. You can also use these templates for Instagram posts, uh, YouTube shorts, Facebook posts. There are so many different options out here to start from. You never have to start with a blank slate. So let's start a postcard. And then we're going to, you can choose some of the templates that are already up here, or you can type in your own keywords. So if we want to create a thank you, business thank you postcard, here we go. And then we can start from any of these options. There are so many different styles that will match your brand kit, your look and feel, and then you can tweak it to your fonts and your colors. So let's say we want to start with this one right here. So there are two options here. Hey there, this package is happy to see you too. Thank you for your order. You can apply both pages so that you have a front and a back. And then this is pretty simple, pretty plain with no real branding to it. So let's apply our branding to it. So we're gonna go back out to our design and now we're gonna apply a style. So we can choose um, any brand kit here. When I select Foxy Hughes Paints, I can either choose the K&G brand kit or the Foxy Hughes Paints brand kit. We're gonna stick with Foxy Hughes and that's the colors that are shown right here. We can click this palette and it'll automatically start changing and shuffling the different color styles uh, and overlay them onto your design. So if I click shuffle here, you'll see it'll rotate. Here's one with the black background, white text, keeping the orange. Here's white with black. It's not giving me a white and orange, which is what I would like to see, but I can change that. I can customize that. I can also change and customize the fonts here. So if we're gonna go up here and say, change this Better Sunday to our Foxy Hughes paints. Again, either brand kit is here. We're going to say, this, use this uh, Adore You. And then let's use the Miss Eve's font. We can also go up here and change these colors and use our Foxy Hughes color palette. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I wanna change this one to the orange and leave the black. Now we can apply that same style over here to page two. Maybe we wanna do a little something different, so we'll go back to our design. And then for this one, maybe the front is white and the back is black. I kind of like the black, white, and orange, but we'll want to go ahead and change our fonts. So we can go up here and mm, let's leave this, change this to the Adore You. Maybe this is the Nunito. And then of course we can change the text and make this KNG Make It for our socials and then update our website. And now we have a quick and easy postcard. It looks great, but still missing something. I'm gonna add one more thing. Let's go over here to our brand right here. And that's, let's add our logo. We need to add a logo on here. I might select these two, drag them down. And then here are all of our logo options. Let's choose the one with the orange tail. which is great, but now the two fonts are too close together, so let's swap those out. Again, we're gonna go back to our design, go back to our styles, and we can just up to our fonts here. Oh. 
we'll change this to Mrs. Eve's and then it still looks plain so I think I'm just gonna add some dots and now we have a branded postcard it has our style our colors our logo we have a front and a back and I think it looks so cute I love it now to save this and use it as a template going forward uh, you can just save the file let's give it a file name Foxy Hughes thank you postcard and we can leave it as a file but what you'll want to do is save it as a brand template so we're going to do that by clicking share click brand template choose your folder we're going to choose the foxy hughes folder say add and publish now we've created ourselves a thank you postcard brand template so if we go back out to our main home screen you can see here on the main home screen our template is here and you can see it's in the foxy hughes folder and it's branded as a brand template if you go to brand and brand templates you'll see here that in the brand templates folder you now have your new postcard and if we wanted to use this postcard we can just click on it say use this brand template and it'll automatically prompt us to order some postcards she did it she did it <laughs> I don't think we have to get that excited. No, we totally have to get that excited. It's that exciting. Now you have a comprehensive brand kit. This will help elevate your online presence. It'll help you design consistent marketing materials fast and in real time. We created our brand kit by loading our logos, selecting our color palette, organizing our fonts. We created a quick thank you card and saved it as a brand template so we can use it over again. If you found this video helpful, check out our other Canva videos where we share more tips and tricks and design elements. And let us know in a comment below what your brand kit looks like. I'd love to see it. And a big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. And that is the best way to support this channel. And we're about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us on our Patreon after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Ooh, and next, one's a, next week's a good one. But that's where Canva comes in with all of its tips, tricks. Mm -mm. But that's where Canva comes in with all of its templates. Mm. But that's where Canva. But that's where Canva comes in with its easy to use templates. <laughs> Just do that whole part again. Uh -huh. Well, check out our other videos where we have Canva.